Hello, my name is Sean Paul and I work for the Sims Independent Schools Consultancy Team. I'm here today to demonstrate how to produce email backs remittance advices in Sims FMS. The advantages of producing email remittances to suppliers is in the time it will save and also the cost effectiveness. I will now show you the software. To set up email backs remittances, we first start by going into the tools menu route and go to establishment details. And in the backs e-advices tab card, the mail server, you need to make sure that the account settings for the exchange server for Outlook is entered in here and your IT department will be able to um, provide you with the relevant information and also the port number. And if they require, then they will provide you with a username and password. The email setup at the bottom part of the screen shows you a return email address. So this is typically any email address that you have um, at the school. So whether it's somebody's name or a generic return email address, for example, finance at capita.co.uk. The subject line will then appear as what you will see in your email. And the body of the email in the actual main message, you should shortly receive payment. Obviously, that can be edited to uh, whatever text you want to see on the email when you send it to the suppliers. To test that it is going to work, then you could click on the test mail server setup and you will get a connection to the mail server was successful. And you can see also I have an email come through just to confirm that. So I'm going to click on save. I then go to tools, accounts payable parameters and I go to the check layout and backs parameters screen just to ensure that I have a backs ID code and an output directory for my backs file. Finally, in part of the setup, I need to go to the tools general ledger setup. I look at ledger code and if I select my bank account code, I must ensure if I'm doing backs, I have my school's sort code, account number, and BACS user number and BACS bureau number. The final part of the setup is under the focus menu route. If I go to accounts payable and the supplier, if I pick on my supplier, I want to pay by BACS and also um, do email remittances for. If I open up first glass, I need to go to the additional tab card whereby then I have a tick to confirm that this supplier is a BAX supplier. And if I am obviously emailing, I need to ensure that I tick the PDF remittance advice. And I would then enter a valid email address for somebody who works at the supplier. But in this case, I'm going to enter my name just so I can show you um, the email that will be generated from Sims FMS. If I click yes to save, that's all I need to do in terms of setup. I have created earlier an invoice which is ready for payment. So I am now going to do a BAX run. If I go to focus, accounts payable and BAX processing, I'm going to click on the plus button to add a new BAX run and I can say I'm producing my BAX run. I need to enter something in the run narrative box so typically week ending and the appropriate date will be sufficient. If I click next I can see the invoice that I have made available for payment earlier. I'm going to tag this invoice 
and click on the next button. You can run a Bax Run report which will show you what payments are you going to make and just to confirm that you're happy with uh, what invoices you are paying. Once you're happy with that then you can click on the create button which will generate the Bax file. And click OK on the Bax processing screen. This now actually has created the Bax file. If I click OK, it takes me to the do you wish to print remittance advice slips. If I click yes to this, then what it will do is it will email the supplier. And as I put in my um, email address earlier on, I can actually show you in Outlook what it will look like. So if I double click on the email that has just come through to the supplier, there is the, the subject that I put into the setup area, here is the information that I put into the main body, and if I double click on the attachment, that is the actual remittance advice. So this completes the demonstration, and I hope this gives you food for thought on how to produce your Bax remittances in the future. Please see the details on screen now for further information.